Alrighty. Off we go. I'm gonna do a little analysis to start here. I just play this game. And this was a pretty weird position. I won, but the computer found a mate in one situation that I was not prepared for. So anyway, let's see what the situation is. I just lost another pawn because, I mean, may not look like I was doing it on purpose, but I promise I was. I was just trying to, whenever they, uh, basically I castle queen side, he was kind of fianchettoed his bishop in a way that made it seem like, okay, I'm gonna suicide my pawns and then blast my rooks just down at the king. So that was the plan. First, pressure the queen, she gets out of the way. I thought he would check, but wasn't super worried about it. Uh, he didn't. Um, but this was what I was trying to line up, right? Was just to take here, assuming that that pawn goes undefended. So I get to do that. And here's where I just, I did not see this combination. So there is a mate in, I think one, sitting right here that I didn't see. So I'll show you what I did, which made it go way longer. I was still excited because this pin is still here, right? Like this pin is there. So my plan was, okay, great. I'm going to check here. King has to move down. And then I, then this would be clear and I would move my queen there and then be game over. So that was my plan, which I was excited about. The computer, well, let's see, I'll, I'll show that really quick. So of course, it doesn't have to unfold that way because the queen can take the knight. I get to take the queen because again, the pin is still intact. So this whole plan was still nicely uh, playing out. And then he gets to fork the rooks and then the game just goes on and it's not a very exciting ending, but uh, obviously I was able to convert that. But check this move out that the computer wanted that I was like, wait, what? Okay, yeah, right here. Instead of that, the computer wants the queen kamikaze king takes and then mate in one which is really nice i would not have seen that oh, i definitely did not see that but that's pretty nice and i think that's one of those pretty checkmates where you know obviously the king can't come down this way he can't come here and it just so happens that he can't go to the one other square that usually he could get to. So I was just not trained to look for that. So basically, if you had done that, the move actually would have been to escape that way. So things would have gone on a little longer if he hadn't taken the queen. But I mean, the computer's right. Most players are gonna do that and then bam, crazy, crazy. So I didn't see that and I, not sure, I'm not sure if this analysis is gonna help me see that in the future or not, but anyway, the game ended. I was happy to win that one, get back up above 1700. And then now we're gonna try to stay that way with another game. All right, let's see what we get here. This is gonna be an expensive loss. This is a win six, lose 10 situation. Not my favorite. In fact, my least favorite. If I'm gonna play, I wanna play people that are like, I don't know, 50 to 100 points better. I would just rather, if I'm gonna play, I'd rather uh, have the opportunity to win a lot and prob but probably lose a little versus probably win a little, but maybe lose a lot. That's just a trade that I don't like. And this is like, I don't know, two out of every 10 games unfolds exactly like this. And then we think, okay, he's probably going queen side. So often I'll jump my pawn just knowing that he's going this way. But if you do that, then they go the other way because they're like, oh, I don't want to deal with you. So. Let's not do that yet. We'll just play. We don't want to. I do want him to go that way, though. And I think I can leave that alone for now. 
I want him to castle queenside. Because then we'll get to run the pawns. Mm, what's he thinking? What's he thinking? Can I take with the bishop? Take with the bishop. Probably pawn takes. I'm thinking, we'll see what he does, but I'll go here and then I'll go here and then I want him to go queenside. If he doesn't go queenside, this is gonna be a really standard game. Oh, I guess he could just take here. That is, that'd be probably a good move, but. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna clean that up before I screw that up. So what's he thinking here? I feel like now he should go kingside so he gets this. Unclear. See, I don't wanna, I don't wanna tip my hand. Hi Nigel, how are you, how are you? Hopefully you're having a nice, nice night. Um, I don't wanna tip my hand by going this way. He'll know what I'm up to. I don't want to undouble his pawns either. So what do we do? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep pushing. Cause he's gotta, he's gotta go one direction here. Oh. Well, he called my, my bluff, I guess. That was weird. I really thought he was gonna come the other way. So now I kind of weaken these pawns. I think you should take with the bishop. Because now I'm not going to be able to take back the way I want to here. Yeah, this is not great. That that little trade I did right here was not not played properly. Not played properly at all. Oh, but maybe he, if I do this really fast, he won't see that his uh, queen is... I was hoping if I did that super fast, he wouldn't see that, but I think he saw it. Which piece? Which piece? I think probably the rook. I guess I'll just take that. I mean, we're pretty up now. That was an interesting exchange. I think he just didn't see, as I didn't see, that. Um, <clears throat> Nigel, how long have I been playing chess? Uh, you can look at my account. I started playing Blitz, and I want to say it was like 2019, maybe 2018. So like, give or take a little over two years, I want to say. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, we'll analyze that. But yeah, I started out, I was like 800. Um, and then I got to like maybe a thousand and then I started taking lessons. And that helped a lot. Lessons helped a lot. Oh, cool, right on. And then uh, I think in the last, my goal at the end of 2019 was to get to 1500, which I did. And then my goal at the end of last year was to get to 1800, which I did barely. 
uh, and I even got up to like 1824, I think was my highest. And then, uh, and then now my goal is 2000, which is proving to be harder for sure. That's, that's a lot harder. Um, let's take a quick look at that game. That was, uh, that was weird. I mean, that's one of those ones where I think neither of us calculated quite deep enough there. And I think I thought I knew it was happening. He thought he knew it was happening. But yeah, this whole time I think he's going, um, okay, this is all pretty standard, but when he did that, I figured he was gonna go queen side. And so, like I said, usually I'll start running my pawns already, but I don't know, uh, when I do that, then I, if, I, if somebody does that to me, then I just get scared and go the other way. Uh, Nigel, you got to 2000 on Lee Chess. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> I like that you're, you know that that doesn't really count though. I hear Lee Chess is like, I, I mean, it, it just sounds like you, you can't really believe the ratings at all because it's, uh, it's so inflated, yeah. Yeah, you know, I wanted to I wanted to do streaming on Lee Chess, and the only reason was because I don't really like this, the Chess.com options for the UI. Like specifically, the clocks are really cool in Lee Chess. Like this kind of goes with the vibe that I want, the wooden thing and everything. The the tan board is cool, but I kind of like the Lee Chess style a little bit, but not enough to to play with the rating. I care a lot about my chess rating, probably too much. Okay, so I often mis make a mistake on this little trade right here, this whole situation, all this tension. Um, yeah, so I screw up there, and he should have taken the bishop, which I said. So that's a, that was a good clue. There should have been a good clue for me that we'd maybe be able to pull something out here because that guy missed a pre pretty obvious move there. Um, so I did that, opening up his file there, so going kingside looked like probably the way to go and then right there that was when I was like alright castle and he went the other way okay so let's see where this all goes down so this is where it gets a little dicey I think yeah that's what I'm talking about you know that was the right move like five moves ago and I don't know what I was looking at I don't know what I was seeing there because I saw this I think I was thinking I'll take he'll take and then I'll come down I don't know I don't know what I was thinking but yeah I was I was thinking he would take with the pawn because one the computer says so but also just to undouble on that one I thought he might but whatever uh, this is where it gets weird takes takes and you know he's thinking take and then I'll take and then he'll get the rook I think that's what he was thinking and then maybe even this. Maybe he thought he had that. I didn't see that though. That whole situation was, I don't wanna say it was luck, but you guys were watching, that was not intentional. And then you, I could have easily screwed that up, taking with the wrong piece. It did, ended well, which was good. That was a risky game. As I was saying before, I don't like playing players that are more than 100 points lower because it's just so costly it's like you lose 10 or 11 points sometimes i played somebody the other day i won three points and i'd love to just abort a game like that but you know gotta be a good sport so i played it out but man it's so risky all right let's do one more let's hope we get something good let's hope we get something good so Nigel, you are also about the same, 1700 or so, somewhere in there? Yeah, you know, okay, so I did do that. The thing where you uh, you set the brackets of how far you, you don't wanna play people. And for some reason it doesn't work, clearly. I'll check it again though after this session, but I did that and it definitely does not apply to my mobile games. Cause when I play, sometimes I'll get facing like 1500s or something. Um, I'll check it again. I'll check it again after this, because I have heard that you can do that, which would be really great. Um, but yeah, I would, I mean, that's a good question then, like what I would do. I'd probably, like, I just want, I want to get better, right? So like, I want to keep playing higher level people uh, and understanding why they're better than me. I don't really want to play people that are rated lower because theoretically I should win, and that's not really going to be very learning for me. 
Okay, Nigel. Yeah, right now you're 1800, cool. Yesterday you were 1700, damn, that's quite a run. My best run ever was I think, I think it was like 14 or 15 games in a row in Blitz. It was crazy. It was back before they changed 10 minute games to Rapid, which, uh, man, that scared the crap out of me one day. I was playing a Blitz game and I won, and I won like 60 points. And I thought it was a bug, but it was right with, it was like the game happened literally right when they switched the qualifications of Rapid and Blitz. So my, oh, so my 10 minute game was actually a Rapid game. I didn't like that period where the, the scores were still kind of equalizing. Not cool, I did not like that. But it's good now, seems even now. I don't feel like I, back then, like he'd play a 2000 and they might just be like a 800 on their way down, you know, like there's no way to know. Um, but yeah, now I feel like it's pretty good. Okay, let's do this, let's do this. Playing chess. Let's see who we get here. 1624, okay, I mean, that's still a damn. It's still a ten-point loss. So never mind. <laughs> I guess I'm just, I'm used to being sixteen twenty-four. So I'm used to. I hope he does the fried liver. Uh, this is not an opening that I like. I get a little uncomfortable here, actually. So I always do this wrong. I'm gonna do. You take there. I'm gonna do this. There's a version of this that. Um, that I do sometimes. I know this is not quite correct. Uh, there's just a version of this that is the correct way that I get very uncomfortable with. Uh, so I'm just gonna do it this way for now. Hmm. That wasn't correct, clearly. Are you a Traxler? No, I'm not. It's so interesting. This is one of my favorite things about chess. So I feel like I'm losing. Even though we're equal on pawns, that exchange was just so not quite what I was expecting that psychologically I feel like I'm losing. Which is so interesting. I love that about chess. And this is a very, I wonder, I had a weird idea. This is just such a weird place for a knight. So like usually the bishop would not be safely able to go right there. What the hell? Okay, this is not great, but I think he just plundered a bishop, right? Or a knight? I think, Might be hard to get my guy out of here, but I guess okay. So he's gonna come down here, so I'll probably lose this piece. But maybe, yeah, I'm gonna lose that piece. So let's just do this. Because then I think I'll take here. And then here to prevent that whole badness from occurring. I think we get out of this one. I don't know. I I think we're gonna get out of this one because he can't take both pieces. <laughs> he can only take one. Only take one, my friend. That was weird. I think I think probably with that, that weird bishop move like I was talking about, that's not a normal situation. Man, what's going on? Hmm. Do we just pressure the queen? Talk about isolated pawns. Yeah, no kidding. This is really weird. I'm thinking maybe...
Yeah, I think he definitely did. That was just such a weird position. I'll go back and look at it, but like the bishop was here, which I really liked what was going on there. Like that bishop was able to either take a free knight, which is what happened, or worst case, take the knight that used to be there and double the this pawn. So if that felt like a good possible situation. This was getting pretty dark though. His bishop was lined up on my queen. This pawn was gonna pressure the knight. Like I figured I'd probably lose the knight, but I think what he thought was that he could take here after I took and yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Oh, now I can't escape. Oh, I can actually. I can, there's still one square for me. I almost couldn't escape. <laughs> Get me out of here! And now I'm safe. And now I'm safe. But we gotta be careful, yeah. We gotta be careful. Let's see, if I go over, check, take, take, it's not super good. Up, down, down, that'd be bad. Down here, check, move off. Probably a better way to have defended that, but yeah. You know, that's funny you say that sacked the queen for the two rooks. Um, that happened to me yesterday where somebody did that to me and it freaked me out. Like I had not had that happen before and they did it so confidently. Like it was, they just nuked their queen so fast and I just was not ready for that at all. Um, it was pretty crazy, not gonna lie. Okay, I want this whole situation to stop. So let's put an end to this. Oh man, I might end up sacking them anyway. Might end up doing it anyway. I guess we just do it. I don't want to do it though. I don't want to. Yeah, I'll find that game though, it was crazy. It was on here, I was playing really well. And then, um, hold on. So he's gonna get the Okay, we're doing it. We're gonna do it. No, yeah, okay. The bishop pair and the rook. Hopefully this works. I'm not sure, Nigel, if I'm equipped to do this. This is not, um, this is not my specialty. I'll tell you that right now. I'm gonna hope for the back rank at some point.
I mean, I'm hoping I can get him. I can get him in a. If I can get my rook down to his back rank here, I think I can. As long as I'm still protected, it's like there's a lot coming down this way. So I feel pretty good about that. The main thing I'm worried about is just not seeing a a check somewhere that wins him a piece. You know. I think he's gonna do that, maybe. Or take here. Gotta worry about time too. If I stop talking, you'll have to uh, forgive me. I uh, have said it before, but I easily lose 25% of my mental capacity while also streaming and trying to like think about all the stuff with the stream and listening to music and stuff like, it's just like way more going on than usually is for me. So not the situation you want to be in when you're trying to calculate like crazy. But let's see if he takes if he pushes here. I think I could just take right. OK, I think this. Oh, no, because we're not going to be able to play this. It's still not a. Okay, let's just let's keep it slow really quick. No, that would be bad. I need everybody to be protected. I don't want to have to deal with any of this like Oops. Damn, I already already screwed it up, I think. Damn. Already screwed it up. Man, I gotta be careful. I have got to be careful. Uh, too much to think about. I don't like it. I'm just gonna take this. Oh shoot, why did I do that?
as we dance uh, As we dance As we dance Look, dude, are we gonna draw or what? What's going on? If you want the draw, take the draw. Am I crazy? I can see how I can win, but I don't see how he can win. Don't see how he can win. I guess I'll run out of time. That might happen. he could queen that guy and that would be bad that would not be good at all that's a bummer That is a bummer. So now we gotta go for the stalemate, the old fashioned way. Yeah, I was not, not super well equipped to do that. one square oh well, maybe he's not gonna kill the bishop he knows my plan he knows my plan problem is like especially with man 10 points that's what i'm talking about it's such i hate that um but yeah having to calculate all of those possible queen double attack checks like really not not into that not into that at all ah man that was rough eight blunders you don't want to see that all right let's play one more and i want to hope for a higher rated opponent just so 
I don't get so nervous about losing 10 points. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Plus nine, minus seven. This is this is more, more my speed. More my speed. I'm just gonna do that. I know that's not like the main line as they say, but I kind of have a Yeah, the fortress. He, you know, um, my bishop in the bottom right corner, I thought was in a pretty good spot for a fortress, and I didn't see his pawn threat that came in, and that kind of threw me off because then I had to worry about both the bishop and the rook, and then ultimately the pawn getting across. That was that was tough, tough, tough situation. So the only reason I, I blocked that way is yesterday, this exact same thing happened, this threat, and I blocked this way, or with the rook, and then something bad happened. <laughs> I forget what it was. Oh, that was the game where the queen, um, where the guy purposely lost his queen, and then I still lost. It was crazy. Because um, what ended up happening was the queen uh, suicided to take the knight. I took with that pawn, and then Rook came down, checked my king, and got my other Rook. It was, it was pretty wild. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's see if I, this is one of those move order situations. If I take here, he probably takes there, and then I could take there, and he takes there. Let's do it that way. We don't have time to calculate this all the way through. We don't have time. But I'm pretty sure if he takes, uh, I think this is good. Let's let's just do it. I take, he takes the rook. I take the rook. I think this is good. So we're either gonna come out even, or I'm gonna get this pawn. I think. And if anything, I'm happy. If, I was gonna say, if anything, I would have been happy about that just because his whole, I was pretty worried about that bishop on that diagonal. So I'm happy to trade that away. Now we have a more dynamic situation. This is another one of those positions though, where it's like, huh? And this only ever happens on streams for me. When I play by myself, this never happens. Nobody ever just gives me a game. But yeah, he messed that up, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to think like, it was this total move order thing. This is one of those things where it's like, okay, I know to get to the next level, I should sit here and calculate exactly which piece to take first, right? Because I was thinking he would take my rook after this, and then I would take his rook, and then we would have to decide, do we both want to rescue our bishops? Or does he want to, um, 
Or does he want to take my rook? I'll take his rook and then lose our bishops. So I think that was a classic case of move order miscalculation. Because I almost miscalculated myself. I'm surprised he quit though. I mean, I don't know. I feel like he could have pulled that one out. Maybe. All right, let's make sure there's nothing going on in the world. All right, we'll rock one more game. Edwinum. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that, that correctly, but thank you guys for being here. You see you are my two, two prized viewers today. I don't have a lot of viewers yet. We're working on that. But I feel like chess Twitch needs a couple things. One, it needs better design. Everybody's stream, in my opinion, needs a serious design overall. So messy chess, we try to bring that. Um, and then also, uh, I mean, at least for me personally, most streamers play too fast. They play bullet and they play with no animation, so I can't follow it. And with pre-moves, so you have players like, there's no animation, it's bullet, and there's pre-moves. So they're all like doing all this moves that don't actually end up happening, but since there's no animation, you don't really know which one happened and which one didn't. Uh, and then on top of that, they're grandmasters. So it's like they're doing things that I don't even really understand. So anyway, that's the whole thesis behind Messy Chess is that Chess Twitch needs some variety. So here we are. Man, okay. P Shaw, 1681. Okay, I hope he takes. Please take. Don't go back. Ah. There's a few positions in chess that I just don't like for various reasons, and this is one of them. I don't like my pawns in this position. I don't like the position that the black pieces end up in after that little dance with the bishop. Roy Lopez? I think Roy Lopez. Um, but I love it when they come down and they take the knight, because then there's a move that I know a little combination that's really good. This is free, I think, right? Sort of free? Not really free because of the rook? I guess it's free if he doesn't protect it now. Yeah, okay, now I think it's free. Um, Oh no, is there this? And then we have to play that kind of game. I think there might be that. And then I, he, I take him. This guy comes down now because I can get him this way. Ooh, it scared me. It might still be scary in a way that I don't see, but uh, I think it's not scary because my knight is where my knight is. guessing based on the amount of time he's taking on this move that that actually was a free pawn and wasn't uh, oh no the move <laughs> the move that i played against uh oh no it happened to me <laughs> that's the worst i don't know if there's a way out of this like a good way out of this i can take um i can take here and then if he doesn't... Oh, man, so stupid. So stupid sometimes. So how does that look? That would be... He's already up plus four, so I think that's a no-go. I think we just try to lock this one down. Um, I think we try to do the, do it the quiet way here. Let's try to lock this one down the quiet way. That was crazy. Um, oh, thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy it. Uh, man, that was pretty wild. I thought it was a free pawn. I think it was a free pawn in the sense that I don't think he left it there for me and then with the idea that he was going to put his bishop there. 
only reason I say that is because he spent 50 seconds on that move. I think if you had that plan, you're not spending 50 seconds on that move. And no, sir, we are not queen trading today. We gotta be careful though. I might, if he moves this knight, I might just take that rook. Um, I probably should have taken it before now that I think of it, but I didn't think about it. So I'm thinking I do. No, that won't work. I was thinking this, but then probably just this, and then this, then this, it doesn't work. I'd really like him to move that knight though. Fortunately, I don't have a good way of Now he can't move the knight. What's he thinking here? <laughs> yeah, on plan tactics, so true, yeah. Um, that one though, I don't think, that didn't, did he just, he actually wanted the the, the bishop in, uh, in rook trade? That's funny. It's like I spent all that time not doing that, and then now he's like, no, 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 actually that's what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted that trade. The funny thing is, I mean, we'll see, I might be missing a tactic here, but uh, he was up plus four, and now he's only up plus two. I saw the pin, but it didn't look dangerous. It could be dangerous if I screw up and move somewhere, move to the wrong place, but I think it's okay right now. Yeah, this is dangerous though. I mean, if he can go here and then, I guess that's not threatening anything yet. Um, I guess he's just opening up the bishop, probably coming down here. Okay, no, I did it. Or did I? Yes, I have been there. Okay, so I don't want this bishop to come here. So I'm thinking I go here, then he'll have to move his knight, and I can at least safely take that, and then maybe get something kind of nasty. Oh, I can't get down there. Damn. Anything wrong with this? play this one right we might be able to get this one on time not that I'm proud of those kind of games but you know as my coach will say time is a very real element in the game and you should not be ashamed of winning on time when it happens so I'm not I'm definitely not ashamed of winning on time if I do it while I'm streaming because when I'm streaming I play like 30% slower just because like I'm talking, I'm not calculating, you know? Okay. So make sure there's nothing sketchy. I'm just gonna take this pawn, hoping the queen takes back and I can get that check there and then steal the bishop. So let's try that. It's possible the queen, or that I guess, that's fine too. I kind of was hoping I could get everybody out, or I was really hoping I could get that move in. At least we got a pawn back. But I did not want him to be able to fully develop. That I can tell you with certainty. 
gotta watch out for this knight. But I really want to open up my rooks. Let's get this guy over here. What good's that gonna do? Not much. Let's go here. Oh, we gotta watch out for this at some point. If he does something, no, that won't work. Don't like that at all, so. I know that this is a scary thing, but if I, if he does move away, I can take with initiative, as they say. Well, not now I can. But maybe there's a way to make this worse. What would that be? I kind of like... Oh. Uh, uh. I feel like I'm just allowing his pieces to get involved in the game. I would hope he does this. Give me the open file there. I guess he'll just take here maybe. No, cause he can't take here. Ooh. something here not yet but there's something here and I kind of think it's going to involve getting this pawn across because he's pretty close I don't think that was on purpose that situation But this is not good. This whole thing, this whole thing, this, 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 this is, I don't like this. But I think I'm gonna do something like that. And then threaten this guy. So he doesn't have anywhere to go, really. At all? Oh, well now he does. Okay. It's indeed very dubious. Yeah, because I feel like he could just suicide one of these pieces and then find a checkmate, like, right there. Um, yeah, but what about this? What about this? I'm just going to go for it. We don't have time. Or we do have time, I should say. Um, oh, there's a check there. Is there a threat beyond that, though? would have been if I went there, but I think I'm okay here. Because now I'm thinking, what if I just, what if I just do this? I mean, there's plenty of ways to stop it, but maybe I can just get some pawns. Although this is a situation where it's like, not the time to be worried about his pawns on the other side of the board. And old me would totally have just start going after these pawns, which I don't think would be the right move. So we're not gonna do that. I'm kind of tempted given his time situation to just trade the queens and then, wait, I should, that I should calculate. Let's see what he does, but check, takes, takes, takes. I get my rook here and it's his move. He can't go here. I guess he could go here and then he can block it. It seemed almost though like, based on where his pieces were, I might be able to get um, this pawn across after the queen trade. I think if I get another move to, to do that, then I can do it. But I think he's just gonna come back. I think? Or I'm still expecting him to suicide at some point. Like here maybe? If he goes there, I'm gonna push because then he can't protect it. He's also 
Like he's running low enough on time where. Okay, take. Probably takes with the. Wait. Let's say takes. Takes up. He can't save it there. So it takes, takes up. He can't save it there, right? Am I missing something? Takes, takes up. I think we're good. I think we're good, folks. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, we, I, <laughs> okay, we were good, but we weren't. Oh no, yeah, we were. Oops. It's funny, I like gave a second glance there and thought that he could take with the knight, which he can't, so we were fine. Ooh, don't know if I deserve that one. Don't know if I deserve that one. All right, let's take a look though. Let's take a look. And my whole screen just kind of freaked out. You guys look like you're still there. Okay, nice. All right, let's take a quick look at that very inaccurate game from both players. 30%. Yeah, he screwed up. Look at that accuracy. Look at that. Ugh. Disaster. Okay, so wait, was this the game? I'm getting confused now. I think this was the game. Yeah. <laughs> Man, so yeah, I guess he saw that, but it just looked like he spent 50 seconds on that move. I don't think he saw that. Back here, I mean. I don't think, anyway. Anyway, so I do that not really realizing that he could just check me there. He does the right thing, trades it all off. And then I should have taken, that was a weird thing. I, I totally just, um, I, I don't know what I was thinking right there, why I didn't take. That seemed like an exchange worth doing <laughs> in retrospect, which weirdly enough, he just decides for no real apparent reason to do the exchange for me. That was super weird. That was super weird. Okay, so then this is where it gets a little dangerous. Yeah, dangerous, dangerous. Why did I do that? I just didn't want to, I thought if I didn't do that, he would just take my rook, but. Okay, that pawn ended up being the thing. I don't think he meant that. He didn't mean to lose that pawn or to leave that pawn alive. And then, yeah, weak discovery attack. Weak, and then he gives me the open file. I don't think I would have done that. What does the computer say about that? It says it's okay. Computer says it's okay. Okay, so he's still up a lot right now. Computer does not like that move, but come on, that move saved, saved the day. That was bad. And then, yeah, wow. Maybe he miscalculated that. It took, I don't know. How would he have done that? So say he goes here, I go here. And then what does he do? Nothing to do. All right, well. I think we got a little lucky there. I think we got a little lucky there. But that put me up 17-17, so hey. Good job, team. We did it. Thank you guys for watching. Nigel Edwinum. Again, apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. I kind of wanted to say Edwinium, but Edwinum. Thanks again. Hopefully you guys subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Trying to get to 1800, that's next. And then the journey, the slow, long journey to <laughs> the damn eye. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know why? I think it's because there is an eye. And so you see the, uh, 
you see the eye and then you kind of want to add it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Edwin. Um, it's also on my screen, very small. So you're lucky that I can read it at all for what I'm looking at. The way I have this set up is very strange. I think here I'll show you what it looks like on my side. I can't really see. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I got to roll. Thanks again, y'all, for watching. I will catch you on the next one.